We've had a lot of questions recently regarding how to approach a batting session. We've had them on our YouTube channel, Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. So one of the main things that we always notice is players just rocking up to the nets and hitting balls, just training aimlessly, hitting as many as they want and hitting off home. So that's not how we like training. We like to have a purpose to our training session and we believe that's the best way to improve. So in this video, we're gonna split a full training session into four parts. And we're gonna take you through each part, showing why we're doing it and what we're looking to focus on. And hopefully, with you guys joining us for this full session, you'll be able to improve much faster. For this whole session, we're gonna be eating 100 balls. If you're by yourself, this should take you about 30 minutes. And if you're eating with a partner, it should take you about an hour. So feel free to double up. What we're gonna start off with is section one, which will be 30 balls and this will be a warm-up section. So for our first 10 balls, we're going to be doing some rapid-fire drives. This helps us with our footwork, hand speed, and a bit of balance. For our second 10 balls, we're going to be looking to do some stationary drop-downs. No feet, only hands. You will just get our hands activated for the remainder of our set. While doing this, make sure to have as nice a big full swing as possible. For our final 10 balls in our warm-up set, we're going to do some toe-up drives. This helps us with weight transfer and shifting our momentum into the ball. Now that we've got our warm up completed, we're going to head into section two, which also consists of 30 balls, and this will be our technical section. In this section, feel free to work on whatever you want to work on from a technical point of view. I'm personally going to work on hitting the ball down to third man and working it off of the hip. So for these 30 balls, I'm obviously going to focus on two shots. So we're going to do five balls each on the late cut or work down to third man and off the hip to square leg. And after that, we're going to progress to 10 balls over arms of each. So a few things we want to work on here. We want to make sure that our head gets into the line of the ball. We want to make sure that we play the ball nice and late, roughly on in line with our back hip. You want to make sure that we're down on the ball. And we want to make sure that our hands and head and body move in unison towards the ball. For the hip plants, what we want to focus on is making sure we get our head into line with the ball like all other shots. We want to make sure to make contact in line with our front hip. This gives us access to the ball and makes it easier to hit it square. We also want to make sure that our hands go through a straight line towards the contact point. <laughs> we want to make sure that we don't push at the ball, let the ball come to you. And finally, as the ball hits your hands, you're allowed to softly drop that top elbow to force it a bit squarer. Now we're going to head into some over arms. This obviously helps reduce the reaction time and the time you have available to think to play your shot. So make sure you try and be as perfect as possible. If you do mess up in this section, don't worry. We are obviously focusing on, on our working on the specific shots. And while we do do these practice sessions, we are going to mess up. That's part of the game. Just make sure to focus on your key points. Hitting it nice and light. In line with your head. Behind the back hip. Make sure you're down on the ball. Okay, here we transition out to working it to the leg side. So there, I just didn't get far enough across the line of the ball so I can make contact on my left hip. Make sure you really commit with your movement. Try and make contact on that left hip or your front hip. Then it's pretty easy to just keep the bat, nice straight line, and look at square on the leg side.
biggest thing is to make sure to wait for a ball. Don't go fetch it. So at this point, we've done 60 balls and we've got 40 left for our session. So for section number three, we're gonna again take 30 balls of our allocated limit and we're gonna do a challenge. So for this challenge, we're gonna to look to play third man and deep square. But obviously if the ball's not in the area for those two, we're gonna hit our normal shots. So it's an execution challenge. And the goal is to see how many out of the 30 we can execute proper shots and basically just make good decisions. So now that we've done all our technical work, the important thing here is to get invested into the challenge. And make sure we execute our skills as good as possible. Yeah. one stayed low. I hit it over the stumps, right? Champion shot. Keeper doesn't see that, bud. Yeah, I'm just a bit annoyed because it's two in a row. Control the controllables. If a ball does pop up or stay low, it's one of those things. As long as you make sure to do your basics well, it's fine. Just continue and concentrate on the next one. Jerk. Now we've completed 90 of our allocated 100 balls. We're moving on to our last or fourth section. And this is one of the more important sections. This is the section where we remind you to have some fun. For our final 10 balls, we are just gonna go have a blast out there. We're gonna play shots or look to play a shot at least that we don't normally execute in matches. So when it comes to you, make sure it's any shot that you don't normally play. Look to hit some over extra, maybe some slog sweeps, reverse scoop, scoops, whatever you're keen on doing. So for this section, all I want to do is play a couple of paddle sweeps. That's not a shot I play a lot. Um, and all I want to focus on is making sure May gets nice far forward. I can fetch the ball and get nice and low. I think uh, when my arms are a little bit cramped, it's when I struggle, so we're just going to look to extend. <laughs> that, yeah, it was bad. Ow! Thank you all so much for watching this video. I'm going to give this over to Byron to do a quick recap of the session. So obviously we started with the 30 warm-up balls. This is just to make sure that we're activating well so that we can play the shots in the manner that we're comfortable with and best ready for. Then thereafter, we went into a technical aspect where we're working on something that we are potentially going to use in a game situation, making sure that we get nice and comfortable with that and showing that we can do it. Then from there, we go into a challenge where we try and replicate what we did in the technical aspect, but with more pressure on it and you keep a count. And finally, it's really important that we still find the joy in the game. So the last 10 is a sort of obscure skill that you don't always practice, but something you can have fun with, something else in your game that could come into your game in the future, but something that you want to try out. So use that to keep growing your game. If you did enjoy today's video, please leave us a like and consider subscribing to the channel so you can see all our content as it releases. Also a massive thank you to all our members. Names will be displayed on the screen below, or at least the selected members. Finally, if you wanna see how to play unorthodox shots like we did in the last 10, check this video over. Yeah. Over here. Over here.